Good evening, parents, faculty, staff, special guests, and class of 2020. We've had an incredible journey over the past four years. When you arrived in 2016, none of us imagined we would be celebrating today with these limitations. However, these restrictions placed upon today's ceremony does not dwindle our pride and excitement we feel for you. We are here today to celebrate you, the class of 2020, we want you all to know how proud we are of your accomplishments and we're excited for you to begin this new chapter of your life. We can all acknowledge that times are changing, but with that change, our love and connection as cults remain true. A dear friend of mine who was an English teacher for 40 years collected and shared quotes throughout her career. They were used to encourage and inspire others during times of conflict or challenge. I found one in particular that seems meaningful today. When you are afraid to look ahead and scared to look back, look to your side and I will be there with you. To the class of 2020, I say, know that your teachers and family walk beside you today. We support you in your future endeavors and encourage you to walk with confidence knowing your future is bright. Congratulations, we couldn't be more proud of you. Hi, my name is Eric Roof. I'm president of the Barber County Board of Education, and it gives me great pleasure to congratulate the class of 2020 on your graduation. Uh, we're very proud of you and look forward to all of the great things that you'll bring to the future and bring back to Barber County. Good luck to you all. Let's go Colts. Hello, Philip Barber High School class of 2020 graduates. My name is Joanne McConnell. I'm the vice president of the Board of Education. You students have accomplished a major milestone in your life, and there are many more that are gonna lie ahead of you. So make some plans, set some goals, tell your family about your goals because they'll support you, and be ready to accept the challenges that come your way, and there will be even more successes come your way. My hope is that you will strive every day to live a life of kindness and show compassion to others. So good luck and God bless. Congratulations, class of 2020. Uh, certainly we uh, want to uh, wish you the best. Uh, this is most unusual circumstances. I've had the, the privilege and opportunity to be present at over 40 graduations here at Phillip Barber. And I can guarantee that this one's going to go down into history as being one of the most unusual. Certainly these are difficult times and we appreciate everything that you've done while you've been here at Philip Barber and in Barber County Schools for the last 12 years. And wish you the best as you uh, go forward into your future career, uh, whether that be education, uh, work, military, whatever it would be. We certainly want to wish you the best in everything that you do. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dr. Adam Starks and I am one of your board members. I just wanted to say congratulations and um, a job well done. Uh, whatever you all do from here on out, just wanted to encourage you to persevere. Um, as, as you all know all too well now that life is uncertain um, and moments like these are, are not guaranteed. Um, and so we just have to make the best of it. Much as I was looking forward to shaking your hand and congratulating you, um, this is the next best thing. So wherever you're going from here, I wish you the best of luck and um, nothing but success in your future endeavors. Thank you. Hello, I'm Ron Phillips, Board of Education member. Just like to congratulate all the graduates of the class of 2020 and wish you a long, healthy, and happy life. Uh, remember to go after your dreams and live long. Thank you. To the superintendent of Barber County Schools, Mr. Jeff Woofter, I would like to present the class of 2020. They have met the, all the graduation requirements as set forth by Barber County Schools Board of Education, along with the West Virginia Department of Education. To you, I present the class of 2020. Principal Keener, on behalf of the Barber County Schools Board of Education, I accept the graduating class of 2020 from Philip Barber High School and verify they have met all the requirements for graduation. Jacob Lee 
Allen. Logan Isaac Allen. Jordan Tanner Anglin. Justice Wade Arbogast. Emily Catherine Austin. Jacob Tomarek Baker. Madison Kate Balfour. Craig Anthony Barber. Chase Michael Lee Bennett. Daisy Nicole Bennett. Carissa Leanne Black. Destiny Nicole Blake. I plan on uh, attending Alderson Broadus University and taking up a degree in law enforcement. I would like to give a special thanks to my mom and my dad especially uh, and all the friends that have helped me out throughout the years that I've been here. Uh, I want to thank my, uh, my parents and my grandparents for always supporting me and always being there for me through high school and I couldn't have done it without them. They've been my biggest influences. For my future plans, I'm going to go to West Virginia Institute of Technology to major in uh, computer engineering, and I'm also going to wrestle on the wrestling team. After high school, I plan on getting a job, and I want to thank my family for getting me through high school. My future plans are to attend Fairmont State to get a degree in social studies education and to wrestle for them. I'd like to thank my family, most importantly, because they've helped me all the way through this, so it's like very important to me that they got to see this. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Appalucci a lot, too, because he's always noticed if I was in a bad mood. If I was doing bad, he's always helped me pick myself back up. I'd like to thank my grandpa because he taught me like communication skills without having to talk to me and be there the whole time. And I'd like to thank Elias Swick, Taylor Tallman, Lyndon Wagner, Dakota Elmore, Colton Shahan and Casey Neville because they're basically the biggest impact of friends I've ever had in my whole life. My future plans are I'm going to WVU. I'm majoring in music education and music performance. I'd like to thank my family for supporting me in the major change that I did from engineering to music. I'd also like to thank my grandparents for always being there and supporting me throughout high school, middle school, and elementary school. I'd just like to also thank my church family for always being there and supporting me with everything that I do. My future plans after high school are to join the pipeline. 
I would like to thank my mom and dad and the rest of my family. Well, after high school, I plan to go to Pierpont and major in criminal justice. And now I want to thank my mom and my stepdad. Uh, you know, they kind of just let me all through high school. They were very reliable, helped me with almost anything I needed help with. So. I plan on going to Fairmont State for criminal justice. Thanks to Dad and Mom for getting me through everything and taking me through high school. I want to go to d and &E and do the criminal justice program. Um, after high school, I am going to West Virginia Junior College to pursue my career in nursing. I'm going to first start off as a clinical medical assistant and then I'm going to further my career online to be an RN. I want to thank my parents my mom and Mo, um, my grandparents, and everyone else who helped me come this far and helped me along the way. My future plans are to go to West, West Virginia Wesleyan College to study athletic training. I would like to thank my family, my teachers, and my friends. To the class of 2020, sometimes we forget that it's the smallest things that mean the most. A simple hello, good morning, a glance, or a smile. So being inspirational as you are, success needs happiness to survive. For your future, don't live someone else's dream. Find your own dream. Each diploma is a lighted match. Let that be your fuse. As you look ahead, graduates, this is not the end, it is the beginning. As a famous character once said, Dr. Seuss, you have brains in your head, feet in your shoes, and you steer yourself in any direction you choose. I have all confidence that you will follow all these guidelines because you are smart and talented and you will always hold a special place in my heart. Good luck. Love you. Alexis Anne Marie Bragg. Jenna Lou Brown. Kaylee Ann Burnett. Destiny Dawn Haley Burr. Jacob Michael Edward Carpenter. Mayla Jean Carr. Benjamin Cole Clevenger. Jamal Lamar Cooper. Christina May Cottrell. Asia Dawn Cutright. Carson Michael Seveco. Bryden Delane Dalton.
Tara Bros Danner. Ireland Ann Doherty. After high school, I'm going to wait one year and then go to college to become a nurse and I would like to thank my mom. My future plans are to attend Fred Eberly and become an LPN and then pursue my career in getting my RN later on. I'd like to thank my family, my friends, and my boyfriend Hunter Everson for pushing me this far and always believing in me. I would like to shout out to, um, first of all, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for being with me all the way and for saving me from my sins, as well as um, my family for supporting me throughout my entire life, and um, also my friends for um, being so great during my high school years. My future plans are going to West Virginia Junior College to become an RN, and I want to thank my family, my principal, Mr. Keener, and the rest of my classmates and everyone else. I really want to shout out my family also. I want to shout out Mr. Keener. I want to shout out Colette. I want to shout out especially Mr. Appalucci. If it really wasn't for him, I wouldn't be in band this year. When I graduate high school, I'm going to attend State Trooper Academy and follow in law enforcement. In the future, I plan to go to West Virginia University to major in political science with aspirations to go into law school to become a guardian at Lightham. After high school, I'm going to get a job, um, maybe go to college after I have some money. And I want to thank my parents and my sister for being here. My plans for this coming up year is to go to Universal Technical Institute for Auto Mechanics. And special thanks out to my family. After high school, my future plans are to t attend Davis and Elkins University for nursing. And I'd like to thank all of my family and friends and teachers for helping me get this far. I plan on going to West Virginia Junior College to study medical assistance. And I'd like to thank my family and Mr. Keener for making this happen. After high school, I want to attend IVU for a degree in the medical field, and I want to thank my girlfriend and my family who's helped me through all this way through high school and all the way through school. What I'm going to do after school, I'm going to try to find a job, and I'd like to thank all my family, my mom, mom that's my dad, and everybody that's helped me get here so far. I plan to attend Davis and Elkins College for nursing. I would like to thank my family, friends, and teachers. I would like to say thank you to my foster parents for taking me in and motivating me to do the best. Every year around this time, the frantic planning begins. Students are beginning to plan their senior skip day. Insert eye roll here because we all know senior skip day isn't actually a thing. Parents are beginning to plan their graduation parties insert tears of joy and sadness. Teachers are planning their last nine weeks lessons for seniors. Insert sighs of relief because getting seniors to do anything at this point is a battle. And class sponsors are meeting weekly with their senior class officers, trying to plan all of the things that go along with graduation and being seniors. It's the happiest and saddest time of the year and you've missed it. You've looked forward to these things all year or maybe even your whole life, anticipating the breakfast tailgating in the student parking lot bright and early in the morning, the excitement of hearing the announcement that graduation orders are in the LGI waiting to be picked up at lunch, prom, and even walking down the hall for the last time on your way out the doors of PB. You've missed your senior class trip your last season of spring sports, your last senior night, your honors graduate banquet, and the final class tournaments where seniors were sure to win it all. You've missed your awards day, your baccalaureate, and even your traditional graduation. The list goes on and on, and I wish I could say something to make it better. I wish I could tell you it would be all right but that would mean you're eight years old again, and you're not. To be honest, I don't think anyone knows how you truly feel. You've been asked to handle this situation like adults, 
even though you've had to miss all those rites of passage that prepare our minds for leaving childhood and becoming an adult. Throughout this time, I'm sure you've had recent graduates say, it's not that big a deal. I wish I could have stayed home the last nine weeks of my senior year. The senior trip wasn't fun anyway. It was cold and rainy and the bus ride was long. Or they may even be saying, I didn't even go to school but the last day of my senior year. It was lame. You've probably heard adults say, if this is the worst thing that happens to you in your life, then you should be thankful. At least everyone is safe. Or even, you'll understand when you're older. But these statements are all made in hindsight from people that experience the things you're missing out on and maybe even made a choice to miss those things. That's been taken away from you. I want you to know that some of us, your parents, your friends, your family, your teachers, love watching you experience these things. We love seeing the excitement on your face when your name is called and you walk across the stage. We love to give you that one last hug on your last day of school. And when we say, come back and see us, we mean it. It probably isn't that hard to believe that we are also hurting for you. Even though we cannot empathize with what you're going through, we can sympathize and maybe offer some advice. Yes, you're missing out on your senior skip day, but who says senior skip day has to be in May of 2020? Who says your senior class trip has to be on a weekend in May that doesn't conflict with spring sports sectionals, regional states, doesn't conflict with awards day, doesn't conflict with class tournaments or even final exams? And this is where the advice comes in. I challenge the senior class officers to help recover these memories non-traditionally. I challenge you to not wait until you've graduated five or ten years to get together and, take, and make these memories. Put on some music and your prom dresses, FaceTime your friends and have your own prom at home. Take a trip to Teeter and fish six feet apart. Pick a day when all of this passes and plan a senior breakfast. Let me know and I'll be there to celebrate with you. All of these things that you are missing out on can be done in your own way, on your own time, and with the people that you graduated with. Yes, it's going to take effort and a desire to be with one another and see one another, but I suspect that won't be a problem for this group of kids. If there is one thing I have said about your class throughout these four years, it's that everyone gets along so well, even though you are brutally honest with each other. Much to the dismay of your teachers, the groups that traditionally form with other classes seem to bypass this class, making changing the seating chart to eliminate the talking completely worthless. Please keep in touch with each other as you go your separate ways, but most importantly, remember that PB will always be your home and the class of 2020 will always be your family. Ammon Thomas Davies. Isaiah Scott Davis Kayla Dawn Dean Riley Jade Dominguez Joseph Carter Durr Autumn Nicole Edmund Dakota Michael Elmore Luke Brian Farnsworth (laughs) 
Sahara, Autumn, Fawn, Finley. Sydney, Louise, Fitzwater. William Edward Flint. Brianna Taylor Fortney. Katie Lynn. Foster Gabriel Drake Foy Logan Page Foy After high school, I plan on serving a two-year mission for my church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Uruguay. And then I plan on studying at Brigham Young University Civil Engineering. I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me all along the way and just being great parents. After high school, I want to get into the music field and become a guitar technician. And I'd like to thank my family for being, uh, supporting me and being there for me through all of this. I plan to join ERCC to get my CNA certification, and I would like to thank my mom and my dad, my grandma, my brother, Ms. Ferguson, of course, Ms. Yarosh, Ms. Holbrook, and Ms. Van Devender. I want to give a shout out to um, every teacher, every coach, every family member, every friend that's helped shape me into the person I am today, because without you guys, I wouldn't be here. I love you all and thank you. I plan to go to Arlington Brothers University and study to eventually become a physician's assistant. My greatest memory, oh, there's quite a bit of them, but uh, I think my best one was here in September when we went to Wesleyan College and uh, took a tour there and had food and whatnot. All I gotta say is uh, what happens at Wesleyan can stay there. Uh, I gotta hand it to my parents and my family and friends for you know helping me get up to where I am now. I gotta thank everyone who uh, was gonna vote for me for Prom King, because yeah, you know, I was the best one out there. There for Prom King 2020. <laughs> After high school, I'm going to attend Fairmont State University and I'm going in undecided. I would like to thank my family and my teachers that got me here. My plans for after high school are I've been listening to the Marine Corps and I'll be leaving for basic in two months. And then I'd like to thank my family and my friends and all the people who supported me through my career in high school and all the teachers who have helped me get to this point and all the administration that has, that has helped me too. My future plans are to attend West Virginia University and major in civil engineering while being enrolled in the Air Force ROTC program. I'd like to thank all my family for supporting me all these years, for getting me all my sporting events and this graduation and everything else. Um, I couldn't have done without you. Well, I plan to attend Virginia Tech to study phlebotomy, and I would like to thank my grandma for pushing me through. My future plans are to go to Pierpont, study radiology, and I'd like to thank my mom and my grandparents and all the rest of my family. My future plans are to attend Fairmont State University for criminal justice, and then after that, hopefully, maybe get a job in the FBI. And I would like to thank my parents and family for always keeping me up and making me do what I need to do. What I would be doing after I graduate high school is going to massage therapy school and I would like to give a big thanks to my family for all the support. After high school, I plan on going to Fred Everly up in Buchanan to train to become a welder or an electrician. And I want to thank my family for getting me through this and my friends that stuck by me. Mom, Dad, I want to thank you for all your love and support for all the throughout the years of high school, middle school, elementary school, from the time I was born. I couldn't have done this without you. To the rest of the family and friends, you guys have been huge inspirations and I couldn't have done it without you either. And one more thing, Matt Kittle, look who did it. 
Good evening, this is Jeff Wolfter, Superintendent of Schools, and it's my honor to be able to address the Philip Barber High School Class of 2020. You know, it's human nature to look at the past couple months we've been through and to think about all of the things that we've missed. I know Mrs. Collins just spoke about some of those things. The class of 2020 has asked me to speak about just the opposite. For some reason, the things that we've missed come to our minds very freely. But when we're asked to think about how we've made the best of what we've been given, it seems that we need to dig a little deeper. On Friday, March 13th, around noon, Governor Justice closed schools effective the end of that day. That came as quite a surprise to some of us here in West Virginia because the infection rates in West Virginia were very low and we thought we could continue. In an instant, we changed from being a face-to-face, teacher-to-student model of, of teaching and learning to a remote learning with a huge help from parents and guardians. Suddenly, coal miners, farmers, waitresses, grandparents, and people from any number of occupations became tutors, teachers, and supporters. I have spoken to countless parents and teachers over the past couple of months, and I've been truly amazed what I have heard about how many of the teachers, parents, and students have come together and stepped up to make the most of this crazy situation we have found ourselves in. We went from eating on the run at sporting events and on the way to dance lessons or music lessons to gathering again around a family dining room table or in front of the TV. We went from being gregarious and outgoing, spending time with our family and friends to locking down and keeping our social distance to protect those same family members and friends that we love so much. We went from many parents not knowing what our students did in a typical day at school to parents admiring how bright their kids were and to having a new understanding of what their teachers did on a daily basis. We have adjusted on the run to continue to provide needed meals on a weekly basis with the help of members of the Barber County Ministerial Association and other volunteers, as well as school employees and volunteers who came out every Sunday to collect the meals from the National Guard. State regulations would not permit us to hold a traditional graduation service in public at this time. But by filming the graduation ceremony, we ensured that any students already committed to military service or anyone with employment opportunities outside of the area would have the opportunity to take part in a wonderful graduation ceremony with their classmates. This is the first and hopefully last graduating class at Philip Barber High School to graduate in this manner. I am proud that we are able to honor this extraordinary class in a unique way that will allow us to hear from every graduate that participates. As you go forward into what I hope will be an amazingly productive, rewarding, and fulfilling lives, I hope and pray that you will be able to look back on this time more for making the best of what we were given and less about what you lost. Although it has been a sacrifice for our graduates as well as everyone else, let's hope not this time in history will have given us all a better understanding of just how precious our everyday lives can be. May God bless you all. Good luck. David Jonathan Freeman. Shelby Lee Rose Fry. Olivia Grace Fry. Kathleen Brooke Gallo. Brandon Jeremiah Gonzalez. Adrian Lesta Grand Adrian, 
Adrian Cole Gray. Haley May Gribble. Alicia Brooke Griffith. John Philip Hatterman. Savannah Brooke Hart. Hunter Wayne Hawkins. Destiny Lene Hill. Noah Matthew Hodge. Matthew Ryan Howard. I plan to go to Pierpont this fall and go into HVAC. And I would like to give a shout out to everybody that's helped me through these past four years. They've been a real struggle and I appreciate my family and all the teachers and administrators that's helped me. Thank you. My advice to anyone who's gonna be a senior or coming up to the high school is to appreciate your parents more and to take pictures and don't rush anything. So with that being said, thank you mom and dad for everything you did for me and I can't wait for college. And my favorite high school memory is spending my Saturdays with my team and being able to just go to states and help them win. After graduation, I went to go to cosmetology school to be a cosmetologist. I would like to thank all of my family and friends for encouraging me to push through high school. All my teachers, principals, administrators, I would like to thank them also because without them I would not be here. My plans after high school are going to WVU for a music industry. After high school I plan to go to Fred Everly Technical Center to pursue my LPN and then further my education to RN. My future plans are to attend tech school and study to become a licensed electrician and probably sooner or later a licensed welder. And I'd like to thank my mom and dad for getting me through high school. After high school, I plan to go to Waynesburg University to study environmental science and play soccer. I like to thank my parents for being my rock for the last four years and helping me no matter what. So my future plans are to attend WV in the fall for um, a major in political science and journalism with a minor in Spanish or marketing. I also want to take this time to thank my parents for everything that they've done. I want to give a shout out to my mother for waking me up every day before school, and making sure my butt got on the bus, and my principal, and everyone, all my teachers, yeah. All right, I could stand up here and tell you not to take every AP class, but I'm pretty sure every senior has already done this. But the most important fact is take the most out of your high school that you can because you'll never know when it's your last day. Thanks to my parents. After attending PB, I plan on going to AB University to study physical therapy. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, and my brother because they've been here ever since high school started and I'd like to thank them for everything they've done. I wouldn't be here today without them, so thank you guys. Um, I want to be a child psychologist, so I want to go to WVU for psychology and get my master's degree. After high school, I plan to attend WVU for occupational therapy. I want to give a special thanks out to my dad, my mom, and all my siblings. My future job after high school is to be in the police force and I want to give a special thanks to my grandma and grandpa and mom and stepdad. Hello, my name is Shelby Fry and I'm the class president of the graduating class of 2020. 
Three years ago, I sat in Mr. Motes' AP Human Geography class and talked with my friends who were graduating that year. They told me 2020 isn't far away. I laughed because 2020 isn't a real year. However, we're here today because apparently it is. We finished our grueling 14 years of school, and I believe it went too fast. Can you honestly sit there and tell me you're ready to leave? We crossed days off our calendars, and we relished in all of our last moments together as a group. I'm sorry that I rushed this. These were the best moments we've had so far, but if I know us at all, we're about to make even more memories. This is where life begins. And I don't think I can set foot into the new world without the people on my side and on my heart. This one's to the teachers who took minutes of their own time to deliver a message to us. A message of the importance of education which turned into a lesson on how long I could wait to start an assignment. To the teachers who tolerated our classroom drama and helped us to be the best and maybe even got in on the gossip a little bit. Who let us sneak snacks in class and pretended they didn't see us, although obviously the class smelled like food. You're the realest ones. Speaking of which, can we just take a moment for the teachers who would listen to our stupid excuses to have food parties? I mean, we had a class-wide breakfast last year in literature just for finishing a book. Mrs. Irvin, you saw where we were coming from and we thank you. To the band and practices that gave me so many bruises, but that's okay because they were a good kind of bruise. The memorable kind. The kind you never want to get rid of. The kind you want to grovel about, but the memories still make you smile. Finally, to the family who made it all possible for me. So this one's for my mother, who I could tell everything to, and who always understood me, advised me, and gave me all she had, who dried my tears when I had a broken heart, defended me when I was wrong, and taught me that the world is cruel, but I'm strong enough to survive in it. My amazing mom, who woke us up every morning, from the bottom of my heart, I truly couldn't and wouldn't have done it without you, mom. To my father, who not only spends most of his paycheck so I can buy new clothes or help me travel out of the country with my band, or just because I was craving Mexican food, but who was also very open-minded and not afraid to expose me to new things out there because he knew to gain experience and wisdom, I had to see the good and bad of everything. To my grandparents who love me with everything they have, who continue to inspire me and educate me on the real world while still spoiling me a little. To my brothers, both of them, who love me, care for me, and Brett, who drives me around when I need rides. To my sisters, the ones who have played the perfect roles as built-in best friends, who were there for me through the ups, downs, happy, and sad times. Just because I'm graduating or possibly going anywhere doesn't mean your roles as best friends and best family ends here. I'll always need you. Thank you for everything. This moment is memorable. This moment matters more than any moment leading up to this one because this one is ours. My class, I am lucky to say I know you. I am lucky to know that my mind has expanded with you. I've learned everything I know right beside you. Did you know Philippi is only like 2.9 square miles big? I mean, if I was feeling lonely, I could just go to Moe's and hang out with a third of the school. Another third was at Sheets. The last third were the juniors who took AP Lit and AP US History, and they were at home having so much fun annotating and deliberating on Nathaniel Bacon. When we were caught off guard by a pandemic that shook our world, we held strong. We told each other we were strong enough to get through this, and we are getting through this. We were ripped out of our last few chances for high school memories. Did we cry? Yes. Did we complain? Also, yes. Did we stay strong? Yes, of course, that's what my class does. We're ending our high school career as we're beginning a new decade. The tens was our time, but the twenties will be roaring. We said phrases like YOLO and swag like we were supposed to. We danced to the words of Gangnam Style without a single clue of what they meant. When we were bored, we did the mannequin challenge. We survived the cataclysmic doom of the world ending in 2012. We're still fighting coronavirus, but I know us and we are so strong. Most importantly, we survived senioritis. If you check the sign-in book right now, you will find at least three approximate times my reason for being late is written in for senioritis. Christy, I'm sorry you had to buzz me in so much, but I enjoyed our morning meetups, didn't you? I cannot begin to explain how proud I am of this amazing class I have come to know. We have grown up through so much together. We have faced loss and beautiful gains. We maintain extreme cult pride throughout some of the hardest challenges no teenager should have to face. I'd like to take a moment in remembrance of a young soul we lost far too soon. Trey Norris was the liveliest boy. He was in band, soccer, and most importantly supporting the school however we could. Whenever I saw him, he was always laughing with friends. We remember you, Trey, and we miss you. It is helpful in times of digressing grief to have faith in something so much more beautiful than our world. Jesus has brought me through every high and low my entire life. I have some of the most amazing and God-fearing friends to move me every day to grow my relationship with Christ. 
His sacrifice for us is something I will never be able to comprehend. He gave his son so we can have moments like this. He gave me you guys and it's a prayer well answered. Although this is not the dream graduation we have waited for, we have seen so many people come together to make this possible for us. Mrs. McNabo, Mr. Motes, Mr. Collett, Mr. Keener, Tanya, both Tammies, Sissy, and so many other amazing folks who have fought for us tooth and nail. Your contributions to us do not go unnoticed. We are so thankful for your devout passion for our class and our school. Past all the sappy stuff, to my class, thank you. Thank you for showing me new horizons. Thank you for every freezing home football game. Thank you for every pep rally, academic rally, and movie day. Thank you for talent shows and band competitions. Thank you for the art department. Thank you for English, math, science, social studies, and even gym. It made it worth it to do it all with you guys. To end my final speech I will ever have to give at Philip Barber High School, I know that we think we're immortal. We're supposed to feel like that right now. We're graduating. The future is and should be bright, but like our brief four years in high school, what makes life valuable is that it doesn't last forever. What makes it precious is that it ends. I know that now more than ever. And I say it today of all days to remind us that time is luck. So don't waste it living someone else's life. Make yours count for something. Fight for what matters to you no matter what. Because even if you fall short, what better way is there to live? It's easy to feel hopeful on a beautiful day like today, but there will be dark days ahead of us too. And there'll be days where you feel all alone and that's when hope is needed the most. Keep it alive. No matter how buried it gets or how lost you feel, you must promise me that you will hold on to hope and keep it alive. We have to be greater than what we suffer. I know it feels like we're saying goodbye, but we will carry a piece of each other into everything that we do next to remind us of who we are and who we're meant to be. Now is the time for us to shine, the time when our dreams are in reach and possibilities are vast. Now is the time for all of us to become the people we always dreamed of being. This is your world. You're here. You matter. The world is waiting. I've had a great four years with you and I'll miss you all very much. So class of 2020, here's wishing you the joy of discovery. Keep reaching, keep seeking, keep using your abilities to bring out the best in those around you and let them bring out the best in you. Become the next great generation because you can change the world. Thank you. Lucas James Howe. Isabella Blair Hubbard. Kobe Ryan Humphreys. Emily Marie Hurst. Christine Angel Yellowhawk Rose Johnson. Anna Rose Jones. Bobby David Jones. Shania Brooke King. Caitlin Rose Keller. Emma Grace Kennedy. Nicholas Hallen Kearns.
Summer Alexis Kerr. Gabrielle Faith Kittle. Jennifer Michelle Kittle. Right first, I'd like to thank my parents for giving me all the opportunities I had in life. And with my future, I've decided that I will be attending Alderson Broaders University while also being allowed to play varsity football at the next level. I will be attending WVU in the fall to pursue a career in dentistry. And special thanks to my family for making that possible. <laughs> After high school, I'm going to start my own business. And I want to thank my mom and dad and Brad for helping me get through this last year of school. I want to thank Miss Hodge and Christy for always checking up on me or being there if I needed somebody. After high school, I plan to go to Fred Everly and obtain my LPN license. I'd like to thank my family and friends for helping me all the way through high school. I would like to shout out to my family and my best friend Ray Lynn for always sticking by me and believing in whatever ideas I want to put my mind to. They've just always been really supportive and this is the one thing they wanted from me. So I'm planning to go to International Diverse Academy in New Jersey. My favorite quote is in Hebrews 12.1. It states, and let us run with endurance the, the race that God has set before us. I really like this quote and I live by it every day because it reminds me that because Jesus endured my sins on the cross, I can run this race of life with endurance. I would like to thank everybody in my family, especially my mom, my dad, my stepmom, and my mom Ellie and Papa Paul. I would also like to thank God for just giving me all these teachers and the knowledge that I have. My future plans are to go to Davidson Elkins College and pursue a degree in education. Advice to uh, everybody that comes to the school, you'll find that like, you'll make family here and it goes by faster than you think it will. And I wanted to thank my parents for helping me get through this journey. I would like to thank my parents and everybody who supported me throughout this journey. I would also like to thank all my teachers for this journey and my future plans going through the IBW 596 apprenticeship program to become a journeyman electrician. I plan to attend West Virginia University and major in elementary education and then to go on and become a West Virginia educator. I would just like to thank my friends and family for endless love and support. After high school, I plan on attending Shepherd University to get my film degree. And I would like to thank Miss Rupert for getting me some roles in class. After high school, I plan to go to Randolph County Technical Center and go to LPN school, and then eventually go on to get my RN. And then I'd like to take this time to thank my parents and my grandparents and all my friends and all my teachers throughout all my years of school. I would like to begin with a special thank you and congratulations to our Philip Barber High School class of 2020. I was truly honored to be asked to speak with you about leaving a legacy tonight. But to understand leaving a legacy, we must understand the components of just such an action. There are a multitude of ways to define a legacy. Webster's Dictionary describes a legacy as various members of a family attending a similar college or institution. However, we must go far beyond that definition to get at what a Philip Barber cult legacy is. Many years ago, I decided to become a teacher. It was obviously not for the money, the fame, or the glory. My decision was based around helping other people. Along the way, I've had several influences. First was my father, a man that worked for 42 years and never took a single sick day. In his spare time, he painted houses and did handyman work. I thought for years it was just so we could have more money. It wasn't until later that I found out it was so that I could attend college and be the first to graduate from college in my family. Along the way, he was a leader in our church. He started a Boy Scout troop. He was actively involved in several other community-oriented groups. As I grew, I began to understand my father was all about three things. First, always do the right thing. Second, 
do the best you can and don't let anybody else do it any better. Third, don't be afraid to let everyone know that you care. As my life evolved, I was shocked to find a coach, Lou Holtz, that shared those thoughts. Coach Holtz often made me emotional with his speeches and talks about examples of leadership, work ethic, and caring. As I found myself working with more young people, I realized it would be impossible to do any job without these traits. With this special year complete, we've heard about the things we've missed, the possibility of the things to look forward to, and the years of memories yet to be made. But in this instant, what is our legacy for the class of 2020? For that, we must provide a more clear definition. My personal feeling is that a legacy is a state of mind left behind by the actions of leaders in a family group or any other group that helps to mold and develop other positive attributes for the welfare of an entire community, if not the world. In our many conversations, we have tried to teach you how to think, how to keep your composure, how to lead even when it's tough to do so and how to make decisions, especially the tough ones. Sometimes those lessons took several rounds before they began to sink in. But this class has shown more maturity and growth than many that I have had in the past. So now, the legacy of the class of 2020 begins. We here gathered today are honored that we have been able to participate in just chapter one of your legacy. But now you must move forward. Step one, your legacy begins with high expectations. No matter if it's in the job force, the military, or furthering your education in an effort to do the right thing. Step two will be hard work. As Coach Holtz has said, no one has ever drowned from sweating. It is my sincere hope that you have learned this work ethic from home and you have witnessed it here at our school. Now is time for you to put it into practice. Finally, step three. This is about showing that you care. That is accomplished by passing these leadership legacy traits on by staying in contact with each other, checking on each other's welfare and sharing in your successes, and supporting each other in times of trouble, whether it is to younger family members, friends, or professional colleagues. Demonstrating that you care helps everyone to learn what you have learned here at Philip Barber High School. While our minds are full of thoughts about your futures, please know that our hearts are happy and sad at the same time. As we have built relationships with you as mentors and teachers, your failures and successes have helped to form large soft spots in our hearts. We look forward to what can be, and we celebrate what is today's success. Do what is right. The legacy that you leave behind that demonstrates those feelings and the feelings of pride of being a Philip Barber cult have been evidenced in the realization of the requirements needed just to complete this graduation ceremony by everyone, especially you, our senior class. Do it better than anyone else. To gather together on multiple occasions with classmates and advisors for the first time, an event to reach out not just to every senior, but to our entire community to demonstrate the family aspect of Columbia Blue. Something that has never been done before by anyone, but with plans to set the standard for just such an occasion. Show that you care. To provide the inspiration and effort to reach every classmate, to set an example for all of those who follow you, and to inspire your community to share in your creativity and your commitment with community activities to celebrate the class of 2020 in a unique fashion. For that effort and work alone, I personally hope that you, the senior class, see the examples of the teachers who came early and that stayed late to help you. The friends that always tried to point out what was right and tried to make you see it. The support staff that cleaned up after you. The people who cooked for you sent you messages and called you in your time of need. And yes, the administration, not just for holding you accountable, but for helping you see the potential that we see in each and every one of you. So on this day, let everyone know that we wish you the best in developing your plans for success. And we will always be there if you need us. 
Let everyone that witnesses this ceremony understand that we are so very proud of the young adults that you have become. Like you, we have all thought about our own plans, failures, and successes. Now, our own personal storm of emotions on this great day are so intense because of your success. You have helped us to realize that we have been successful in sharing our own thoughts on the legacy and pride of being a Philip Barber graduate. Remember, no matter where you go, no matter how successful you become, never ever forget. Once a cult, always a cult. Best wishes to you, Philip Barber class of 2020. You are truly special. Thank you. Michaela Brooke Kettle. Ethan Lane Knight. Thomas William Knight. Brittany Danielle Lambert. James Lee Lance. Alexis Christine Lance. Brittany Paige Lawrence. Kelsey May Lewis. Joshua Wayne Long. Emily Grace Lauk. April Jane Marsh. Taylor Dwayne Marsh. Zoe Estelle Marshall. Taylor Jade Mayo. My future plans are to attend WVU in the fall and apply for dental school. And a special thanks to my family for everything they've done for me. I plan on joining the United States Air Force and retiring from there, making it a full career. I want to thank everybody in my family and majority of the friends and staff here at Phil Barber for making this a great year. My future plans are to attend Audison Brothers University to study in physical education and play baseball. My future plans is to go into healthcare and help people. I really want to thank my family and my teachers and my friends for helping me through this journey because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do it. My future plans are to find my own place to live and keep working at the job I am until I can get enough money to go to Tri-County to get my diploma for my dream job as a car mechanic. And I'd like to thank my family and friends for always supporting me and helping me throughout these years. My plans for after 
after high school is to attend Penn State. And I would like to thank my grandmother, my mom, my dad, and all my siblings for their help and support, especially my grandmother. They've been a real big influence on me, and I can only hope to impress them even more. I will be attending Davis and Elkins University to play soccer and major in finance. And I'd like to thank my family for helping me, getting me through no matter what, whether it was homework or advice. Um, I plan to go to West Virginia Wesleyan and become a special education teacher. So after high school, I'm going to continue in the workforce and hopefully get a management position and move up. I'd like to thank Mr. Furby for putting up with me all those years in computer science. I plan to attend Fred Everly Technical Center and complete the cosmetology program. And I plan on attending Davis and Elkins for nursing and then going on to become a nurse practitioner. Thank you, Mom and Dad. After graduation, I would like to uh, go to the workforce, maybe go to the state road, work my way up from there. And i also like to thank all my family for helping me out and all my teachers for Push me. My future plans are to start work at the Learning Tree Daycare Center and eventually have my own. And I want to thank my mom and dad for all their love and support. My future plans are to go to West Virginia University and study political science. I'd love to thank everyone that got me here, my parents, my friends, and my educators. Without them, I couldn't be here.
Tyler Douglas Mayo. Tyrese Jerome Mayo. Stacy Lynn McCauley. Jessica Lee Matheny. Marley Ashlyn Nancy. Chelsea Jade Moore. Chloe Danielle Massesso. Nathan Allen Nyans. Mary Elizabeth Nida. Kylie Alexa Payne. Zachary Logan Payne. Madeline Hope Pomp. Kenneth Hayward Riffle. Sean Elizabeth Rios. Jonathan Thomas Roby. My advice to others is to enjoy your time that you have at the high school and it goes by very quickly. Make me call it, make me sing, make me fall. After high school, I plan to attend a view to major in exercise phys and continue on to PA school. A special thanks to my family for everything you guys have done and supported me through. I'm going to go to school to be a CNA and then later on go to be an LPN. And I just want to say a big thanks to my parents and my grandparents for always having my back. In the future, I plan to attend Alderson Brightest University with a major in nursing and a minor in healthcare administration. I plan to become either a labor and delivery nurse or a neonatal nurse after I further my schooling. I'd like to thank my family for always being there for me and always pushing me to be my best. My future plans are to go to Pierpont in the fall for pastry. And I wanted to thank my friends and family for being there for me and being supportive. I'll be attending Otterson Broadus University in the fall to study nursing and I'll be playing soccer. After high school, I want to become the regional manager for Sheets and work my way up the ladder until I can make it for corporate. And I'd like to thank my mom, my girlfriend Hannah, Ms. Ferguson, and Mr. Furby for getting me all the way to where I am and helping me and being by my side and supporting me through it all. I plan on going to Fairmont State University for early childhood development. And I'd like to thank my mother, my Aunt Gwen, and my Aunt Misty, and my grandfather for being the biggest support in my life. After high school, I I plan on attending WVU and getting a degree in exercise physiology. And then after I get my degree, I'm going to go to PA school. 
and I would like to thank my family and my friends and my coaches for always supporting me and being there for me when I was at my low times and for pushing me to strive as hard as I could. I would just like to thank my friends and my co-workers. They never cease to put a smile on my face and make me laugh constantly. And I just want to thank my grandparents for always supporting me no matter what. And most importantly, I want to thank my parents. They have always stood by me. They'll always, always support me no matter what. I love you guys. I plan on becoming a CNA and I'd like to thank my parents for all the support. After high school, I plan on going to work with my family on the oil and gas industry. And a uh, big thank you for my mom and the rest of my family for getting me through high school and getting me to the point in which I'm at today. My future plans after high school are to attend Davidson Elkins College to study nursing. And throughout the summer before I start college, I'm going to work as a CNA at the Good Samaritan. Um, I'd like to thank all my family and all my close friends that have helped me these last four years through high school and that will continue to help me throughout college. My quote from high school is, my belt buckle certifies me to ride a bull. And I'd like to thank my family and all the teachers and everybody that's helped me get through this four years of high school. Good evening, class of 2020. I was asked to talk about one of the most memorable moments that I've had with, with the class of 2020. I believe the most memorable moment that I've had with you all is getting ready for the prom last year. It was about a month before prom time and a couple of your class sponsors left and your class was needing someone to help. Myself and Tammy Hill volunteered to take on helping with the class. And I might add, we have not regretted doing so. From that time on, we had a few meetings to discuss preparations for the prom. Some were panicking, thinking that we weren't gonna have enough time to pull this off. And I kept reminding them, we're gonna be all right. We all came together and worked very hard. We all got along and we had some good times and we were kind of like a big happy family. We had a lot of help from students and parents. I was impressed with all the help that came out as it only took us two nights to decorate for the prom. And it turned out amazing. It was absolutely beautiful. The manager of Gander Dancy even came up to me the night of the prom and said, I just want to tell you, this is the most beautiful and elegant prom I've ever seen. They put on a lot of proms in that building, so that is something to be proud of. I enjoyed working with each and every one of you, and I'll never forget these memories. And I'm sure the prom last year will be one of your most memorable memories as well. I know it's COVID times now, and this is a time we will not forget. So I took the letters of COVID to describe the class of 2020. For C, I picked compassionate. For O, I picked the word outstanding, because you are a group of outstanding seniors. For V, I picked virtuous, which means you show high moral standards. For I, intelligent. All of you are intelligent students. And D, I picked the word dreamers. I want each and every one of you to be a dreamer, and I want you to set your dreams high and believe that you can accomplish anything that you want to do. In closing, I want to say I love you, class of 2020. Good luck and God bless. Kirsten Renee Sandridge. Elizabeth Marie Sanitrek. Levi Patrick Schroeder. Colton David Shahan. Dalton Wayne Shifflett. Destiny Lynn Simmons. Matthew Kyle Simmons. J. 
Jacob Alexander Smithmeyer. Isabel Marie Snook. Garrett Lynn Stoniker. Amber Dawn Stobrinker. Franklin D. Street the Fourth. Logan Eric. Trashinsky. Dakota James Stewart. Zachary Paul Stewart. Edward Philip Sullivan. After high school, I plan to go to Fred Eberly and finish cosmetology. And I would like to thank my mom for always pushing me. I would like to thank Mr. Keener and Mr. Collette for always pushing me to do my best, even when I wanted to not be here. And I would like to thank my boyfriend for always being my emotional support. And I would like to thank Miss Irvin for always being the shoulder I could cry on and being the person I could talk to when I needed it the most. After high school, I plan to attend Fairmont State University to either become a English teacher or biology teacher and I actually start in two weeks, so excited about that. And I'd like to thank my parents and my grandparents and all my family. You guys have been so supportive of me and I thank you all. Attend the Fairmont State for computer science, cybersecurity, and band. And thank my mom and dad and everyone at the school where I am. My favorite high school memory is uh, hanging out with my friends so much, fooling around in school during the times that we can. Well, thank you, Mom, for supporting me through everything, throughout everything with me especially, but with Riley and Charlie. And then thank you, Dave. Thank you, Riley, for being my older sister and just being there for me. Thank you, Charlie, for being a brat all the time, but that's the good part about it. Thank you for being a little sister to me. My future plans are to attend WVU and study in computer science. I'd like to thank all my family for making all this possible. My future plans are to join the National Guard, and I want to say a huge thank you to my family for supporting me all the way. After high school, I plan to go to Pierpont to become a web designer. After high school, I plan to attend West Virginia Wesleyan College for history, education, and political science. I'd like to thank everyone that's helped me get here from my mom to my grandma to all my teachers. Thank you. After high school I plan on going to Glenville to study in pre-vet science and I'd like to thank Keener, Coach, Christy, Tammy, and the other Tammy and Mama Harris and family and my nephew. After high school I plan on joining the Army and when I do I'm going to basic and after I graduate basic I'm going to go, I'm going to come back, go to uh, college, get a criminal justice degree and I want to thank my family for everything they've done for me. Thank you. My future plans are to attend Fairmont State University to study elementary education. I would like to thank my mom and dad for always being there and being super supportive of me and also my cousins for attending this special day with me. I also want to thank my grandparents for also being there for me. After high school I plan to 
work on my criminal justice degree and pursue a career in law enforcement. I would also like to thank my parents for helping me throughout all my years of schooling and to get my diploma. My future plans are to attend West Virginia Wesleyan College and pursue a career in criminal justice. I just want to thank my family for helping me with everything in my life. My future plan is to attend Pierpont and study aviation maintenance. Whenever I get out in the career field, I'm going to go into welding. But I'm going to start out sandblasting and painting. And then after that, I'm going to go into the welding fields. And after the welding fields, I'm going to try to get my inspector certification. And I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me throughout all this and my grandparents for teaching me some life skills. My future plans are to go to carpentry school. I'd like to thank my mom, dad, Mr. Collett, and Mr. Keener, and all my teachers. Maria Rogers once said, the two hardest things to say in life are hello for the first time and goodbye for the last. But with the beginning of every chapter, there comes an end, and that's just the beauty of a well-written story. Class of 2020, our story is turbulent, beautiful, chaotic, and unforgettable. This was originally the time where I would introduce myself to your family and friends and welcome them to the picture-perfect last page of a tear-jerking chapter. But instead, I'm currently delivering this speech to a camera and a videographer whose name I do not know. In order to prevent that from being awkward, I suppose I should still introduce myself. Good evening to the most resilient class in Philip Barber history, to their loving friends, and to their supportive families. My name is Mayla Carr, and I'm the student body president here at Philip Barber High School. This message is brought to you by Little Mo's Ranch Dressing, all of my mother's gray hairs, and an unforgettable journey. All conveniently delivered to you on your couch, and on the bright side, now your dogs can take part. I've been hopeful that the absence of people will result in the absence of an emotional mid-speech breakdown, but I would like to issue an apology, you know, just in case. So in the wise words of Brian Motes, I'm sincerely sorry for losing my sanity momentarily. And yes, Pappy, I know, cowgirls don't cry. I've always found summarizing novels hard. I felt that with summarizing came leaving out characters and details, and those little things are what make a story. But let's start at the beginning. 1,369 days ago, we entered into the hallways of Philip Barber High School. Some of us by bus, some of us by tearful mothers, and for me, riding shotgun and my senior brother's barely running Toyota 4Runner. And yes, Redneck Row will always have a very special place in my heart. And while those were only a few differences, there were certainly commonalities between us two. Our new squeaky clean shoes, likely low top fans, desire to be noticed, and pure excitement to pursue what we had always been told would serve as the best years of our lives. We certainly had moments that will last forever. The rush of the winning gold elevate our ladies soccer team to the regional championship match two years in a row. And yes, that's a school record. The adrenaline that hit when our boys helped lead our football team to the first playoff berth after a long losing streak. The pride our ladies have getting the opportunity to play on the state's most legendary volleyball team. Heather Halfen truly is the GOAT. Our track runners always planning on skipping our own graduation to get onto that podium at the state track meet. The feeling of excitement we had when our classmates scored a 31 on their ACT. And Logan, I guess now I'll admit that you really always have been better at math than me. The standing ovation when our future American Idol winners won PB Idol too. The pride we felt on senior night. The nights at homecoming and prom when we felt like we were dancing on air. The long nights with just sitting in a parking lot with the people we loved the most and talking about life, the little parts of it we knew at least. And even the times we would become emotional watching all of our best friends graduate and start the next chapter of their own lives, thinking that our turn was so far away and only wishing it would somehow come sooner. But now here we are, class of 2020, in the midst of a global pandemic, wishing we had more time, finally understanding what they meant when they told us the next four years would fly by. An abundant amount of moments have been stolen from us, moments that were supposed to define this chapter of our lives. Our senior projects that never got presented, our senior seasons that never got played. We lost the chance to dance the night away at one last prom. There was no senior prank, which is sad because I know we could have pulled off a good one. There was no senior trip, but on the positive side, we do win the contest for the longest senior skip day in Philip Barber history, and we deserve a standing ovation. While the end of this chapter of our lives, our last chapter is one, had a less than desirable ending, we can hold on to this. Not even a global pandemic can take away the perseverance of the senior class of 2020. 
young adults who were born into the world during a time of fear and tragedy and now are being released into the world, ironically, during a time of fear and tragedy. We are a group that were made for a time such as this, with resilience and optimism running through our veins because above all, we're all in this together and we always have been. That is the beauty of our to this point imperfect story. We've shared good times and just as many bad. We've laughed, we've cried, and I know we've laughed until we've cried. But above all, we've learned to find the beauty in our own imperfections. At times, we've wanted to erase our chapter and restart. We've pondered, maybe we could do it better a second time. Maybe we could have lived out all the things we didn't get the opportunity to the first time around. But I can't help but to reflect on the blessings and beauty of our journey. I'll acknowledge that there's no perfect life, and we certainly can't turn back time and rewrite our story, but we continue to live our lives gratefully because every page we've turned is another lesson that we've learned. Lessons that we will always hold on to that became memories we will never forget. As we go our separate ways, I'm confident each of us will do something to make a mark on this world. We have Kaylee, who is possibly the next member of Hillsong Worship. We have Logan, Luke, Ammon, and Cody, who will be the very first graduates of the Electoral College and may go on to build some cool bridges or something like that. El Dia de Puente. We have Summer and Amber, who will lead our future generations with wisdom and grace. We have Marley, Riley, Jenna, Daisy, and Jennifer, who will save lives in the medical field. We have Noah Ward, who may be the next Usain Bolt, or at least think he is. We have Will Knight, who may be the next Babe Ruth. And this is where that I hate summarizing part comes into play. Each member of the class of 2020 will shake the world in a way incomparable to any other class, because that's who we are. We don't let limits define us, and we set goals only to go beyond them, because we are Colts, and we don't stop at the finish line, as Coach Will Gregory always told us. We go 10 feet further. We don't give our 100%, we give our 110. I couldn't turn the page to the next chapter of my life without first showing my gratitude to those who have shaped me into the woman I am today. The woman stepping into the next chapter with grace, confidence, faith, and the unshakable belief that I can do anything I set my mind to. To my parents, thank you for the tough love, for always being my biggest fans, and for never letting me settle for any less than my best, for showing me the Lord and loving me when I was certainly unlovable. To my mama for being my built-in best friend and my rock through it all. To my siblings, thank you for being my biggest protectors, photographers, makeup artists, and shoulder to cry on. You guys are alright sometimes, but I know I'll always be the favorite. To the rest of the family, I couldn't have asked for a better cheer squad, but I'll admit, I'm glad that everyone doesn't have to think my family is crazy now that you're screaming at your TV instead of a packed gymnasium. And yes, Aunt B, that goes for you. To the administration at Philip Barber High School, Mr. Keener, Mr. Collett, Ms. Ferguson, and Ms. Zimmerman. The leadership you displays and lessons you taught me are some I know I'll never forget. You all have made a huge mark on my heart and I love each of you so much. Thank you will never be enough. To Christy and Tammy, my other mothers, thank you for believing in me and loving me and always putting a smile on my face. You made my hardest days turn into my best days with your hugs and reassurance. To Gerald Furby, my school dad, my shoulder to cry on for four long years, and the most patient man I know. I can't put into words how much you and the entire Furby family mean to me. You've made so many opportunities possible for me, and we've quite literally been all over the country together. Thank you for always having a drawer full of candy ready for my emotional breakdown days, putting my straw in my juice when I couldn't see past my tears, always listening to my rants, and being one of my biggest supporters. I certainly don't love that you taught me the art of procrastination, but I do love you, Ferb, and I always will. Allison McNabo, my twin. I can't put into words the mark you've made on my heart. Through good and bad, you'll forever be one of my people. You've taught me so many lessons beyond student council, AP government, and the much dreaded AP psychology. You're such a bright light in my world and a blessing in my life. Thank you for your patience, love, and guidance. I love you always, and here's to being lunch buddies for life. Brian Motes, where do I even start? Thank you for putting up with my loud mouth for so many years, and of course always dealing with what you would call my chronic whining. I love you, but you still owe me those wings, and I won't forget it. Sissy Collins, you're so much more to me than an educator. You're forever one of my favorite people, and I love you more than words could say. To every educator I've ever had the blessing of encountering, I wish I could name each of you, but thank you from the bottom of my heart for loving me like your own and extending that love past the time I left your classroom. 
To Mr. Woofter, thank you on behalf of the senior class for being so considerate of every student to walk through the halls of your county, for encouraging us, including us, and loving us, and for always making the best of every situation. We're blessed to have you. To my Young Life leaders, Kelsey, Toby, Kayla, and Taylor. Without you, I'm not quite sure where I'd be. You each have a special place in my heart. You're my best friends and always the first person I know will be praying for me and cheering me on every step of the way. You've completely changed my life and I'll always look up to the four of you. I love you guys forever. To Chloe, who'll forever be my best friend and who I love like a sister, but is the most annoying person I know. Thank you for the memories, the laughs, and the adventures. You're my soul sister and my favorite person. I love you, sissy, and I promise I'll come visit. To the entire Misesso family, thank you for loving me as your own. I could never put into words how much you guys mean to me, and I know I'll always be your favorite daughter. To Autumn Nicole, my forever girl, thank you for being my go-to for so many years, since elementary school, for standing by me no matter what, for reminding me of God's goodness always, and for being part of our squad with the T. Swift. I'll forever love slushies and Bible dates by the river, but more importantly, I'll always love you. To each of my friends, especially Cameron, Levi, Trenton, and Rustin, thank you for loving me, supporting me, and always keeping it real, even when it hurts. I definitely don't always like you guys, but I do love you all. Finally, to the class of 2020, thank you for loving me, for supporting me, for giving me the best memories of my lifetime, and for making my four years at Philip Barber unforgettable. I love each of you. Class of 2020, it's time for us to put the pencil down, to turn the page, and to start a new chapter. For the first times in our lives, a chapter that doesn't include each other, but some things never change. We will always be all in this together. Dar will always be our 2020 prom king. We will always admire Mr. Keener's spice rack, and we'll stay keeping it classy. We'll follow the advice of our alumni because we are made to take a deep breath and keep stepping. As Kayla Bartlett promises, there is so much more good coming to us. Alexis Serbak encourages us to take every opportunity we've been given. Skylar Ketchum urges us to keep all of our pictures because they'll mean so much to us one day. Jordan McGee encourages us to get out of our comfort zones. That's where all the best things happen. Dylan Chamber encourages us to follow our dreams and be unapologetic in the paths we choose. Above all, class of 2020, I encourage you to know the author and to trust the next chapter. Because of that, as Jeremiah 29 and the 11 in the Bible urges us to do. With our tassels, we also turn the page. Class of 2020, we did it together. This part of our story is over. It was tragic, epic, chaotic, and beautiful, but most of all, it was ours. Dare to think differently, Write your own story, but know the supreme author and always remember the way home because that's a, the beauty of a well-written story. Once a cult, always a cult. Robert Stewart Swanson II. Aaliyah Ray Swick. Haley Tierra Tallman. Isaac Lee Thorne. Tyshawn Solo Tillman Bowles. Lyndon John Wagner Kirkland Russell Waltman Noah Alexander Ward Colby Tyler Warner (laughs) 
Shane Thomas Waybright. Adrian Ann Williams. Connor Lee Wilson. Dylan Christopher Wolf. Gunner Chase Wolf. Zane Wesley Rick. Aaron Storm Wyatt. Olivia Marie Zinn. I'd like to thank everybody that's pushed me to accomplish everything I've accomplished. All my family members, my grandparents, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend pushed me through stuff I didn't want to do, you know. I plan to attend Fairmont State University in the fall to study biology and a big thank you to my mom, my dad, and my brother. My favorite high school memory was when I made it for Twirler for the Pride of Arbor County. And I would like to thank my parents and my grandparents and my whole family for everything that they've done for me. I love you guys so much. I'd like to start off by thanking um, all my classmates and teachers and friends and most importantly I'd like to thank my mom my dad and my best friend Alyssa Hill for everything they've done for me. I plan to attend a trade school for cosmetology after high school and I would really like to thank Mr. Collett and Mr. Keener and my mother for pushing me to graduate. I plan to attend Fairmont State University for a four-year aviation management degree uh, and become an airline pilot in the future and I want to thank my mom and my dad and everyone else who's helped me get through my high school career. Thank you. So my plans after high school are to either attend Mississippi State or Penn State University to become a weather broadcaster, learn how to do that stuff. I'd like to th thank my f family for all the support they, they give me over, over the years. After high school and graduation, I plan to attend Davis and Elkins College. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to study yet. And after high school, I plan on enlisting in the U.S. Army, and I leave August 11th. And I want to take this time to thank Coach Collett for helping me through high school, and Mr. Keener, and my dad, Josh Warner, and my stepmom, Minnie Warner. I'd like to thank my teachers from Philip Barber, uh, Hovatter and Freeman. I'd like to thank Ms. Ferguson, Mr. Collett, and Mr. Keener, and also my parents for supporting me throughout this journey. My plans are being a vet tech after school, and I'd like to thank my mom for helping me through all these years. After high school, I plan to pursue a career as an electrician, and I would like to thank uh, my teachers for helping me with all my work. I would like to thank a lot of the administration teachers for helping me out through the years. I wouldn't have been able to do without them. And my parents too, they help me all the time. And uh, my future plans, I want to go to WVU and attend business school. I want to get out of school, I want to become a coal miner like my brother and my papa. And I'd like to thank my brother and my dad for helping me come through and graduate. Without them, I wouldn't have. After high school, I plan on going to work. And I would like to thank my friends and family for helping me achieve this goal. I plan to attend Marshall University to obtain a degree in psychology to eventually become a an addictions counselor. If I could do it all over again, I most definitely would because those moments actually turned out to be my favorite moments in high school, so I would go back and cherish those even more. I would also like to thank my family and all my loved ones that were with me along the way. They just get me so emotional because they were there for the whole journey and even the journey after high school, but I miss everyone so much at high school and all the teachers, everyone that got me through, but I just wanted to shout them out and say thank you so much.
we will now move our tassels from the right side of our cap to the left. Now we will take our class ring and we will turn it so everybody knows that we are Philip Barber graduates.